Hi everyone, I'm Jack Hanna. You know, nearly 25 years ago, when Africa's black rhino was almost driven to extinction, zookeepers across the country came together to help save this incredible animal by creating Bowling for Rhinos. This support has not only helped double the world's black rhino population from its lowest point, but also helps fund conservation programs for all five rhino species in both Africa and Asia. So bowling rhinos and a snake, how does this all kind of come together? Because we have Ted out here with you. Yes, yeah, so this is Ted. He is one of our male ball pythons from Reed Park Zoo. Um, and he is just kind of here to be an ambassador species to talk about animals that live in the habitat with rhinos. Um, okay. So one of the things that we do for this event is to help support um, the protection of rhino habitat. And with that, not only we help protect rhinos, but also cheetahs, zebras, elephants, and animals like this ball python here. And like Ted. Mm -hmm. And when we're talking about we, we're talking about the American Association of Zookeepers. Yes. Tell me what the association does, who makes up this, I'm assuming zookeepers. Yes. <laughs> so this is actually a national professional organization for zookeepers. So primarily made up of zookeepers, um, but also volunteers, um, interns, docents, things like that. totally throw it out there. Why should somebody care or worry about the rhinos? I, it's kind of, you know, something specific, but I'm sure it has a bigger picture. Yes. So rhinos in particular, we have the Bowling for Rhino event that was started um, back in the 90s. And this event has been super successful and it helps protect rhinos. Rhinos are amazing animals. Um, there were 25 species of rhinos in the world. Now we're down to just five and all of those species are endangered. Um, so they're a very vulnerable species right now, but they're also in a very vulnerable habitat. Habitat. And by protecting rhino habitat, we protect all of those animals we were mentioning before, Ted here, um, and protecting that habitat provides all of those animals with a place to live and even endangered plants. There are lots of plants in that area that are endangered as well. 